Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video I'm going to be covering Advanced No Captcha and Invisible RE Captcha version 2 and 3. This is a very popular plugin with about 100,000 installs, and while I made a video on why I don't recommend using RE Captcha, this is a really great alternative if you're building a BuddyPress website like I am for the video series I'll be doing for SEO, and I've already done some, some videos for it. So you're gonna go ahead and find the plugin by just searching advanced, no captcha. You're gonna click install and activate. And we're gonna go into why I prefer this plugin. This plugin is great because it only loads the assets on the pages you need and it lets you, sub sub lets you select the type that you want to use. So for instance, on my site, I'm using the version two, I'm not a robot. That allows them to do the little check mark and then it passes them the test or if it fails them, it gives them some images to select. That's the one I wanted because I'm not a fan of the invisible RE Captcha implementation where it's just a little slide out button at the bottom right hand corner of the page, especially because I'm only using it on the registration pages. So for the website I'm building, and I'm going to include the link in the description because I've started at, to add some content, I had to go ahead and I had to think of a solution that would allow people to register but would stop spam from getting through and I wouldn't really need to check on it and while yes there is honey there is a honeypot field and yes I have Cloudflare the I wanted to take it a step further to finally filter out virtually all spam that I could get because buddy press sites get spammed a lot and this plugin was the best one for the job so I'm going to quickly show you how to get re captcha keys for your domain to set this up you're going to click the little link here and then you're going to click Plus, and then you're going to give it a name, uh, staging keys. Now, because I'm using RE Captcha V2, I am not a robot. I need to declare that I'm using V2 and that I'm using the I am not a robot checkbox. If you choose the wrong type, it will not load. And if it does load, it'll give you an error that says that the keys don't match or they are not supported. You're then going to need to include the domains that you want to include it on. In this case, it's just going to be the staging two, and you strip out the backslash for the end and the protocol in front of it. And then you choose your email. So this is my personal email. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I'm going to select accept. And then the only thing I do is I uncheck the send alerts to owners because it's just more emails that are just not necessary. We're going to click submit, and we're going to copy the API keys. We're going to copy the site key and paste that key into here. And then we're going to copy the secret key and we're going to copy the secret key into here. And then for my BuddyPress website, what I did is I went onto the BuddyPress register and the registration form, which is the default WordPress registration. I didn't feel the need to check it for any of the additional pages because while the login page will be spammed, I have Cloudflare rules integrated to deal with that kind of login spam. And I will be making a video on more Cloudflare rules down the line. But the biggest thing was is just to stop users from signing up who would be malicious in the first place. And because this was BB Press, uh, Buddy Press and BB Press, this was the best means of stopping it. And the great thing is, is it only loads this JavaScript on the WP Admin registration URL and on the Buddy Press registration URL. Now, because it's a Buddy Press website, the registration form that WordPress already generates is going to be redirected. But if it weren't, it would cover both of the forms. So this was the best means of integrating it. And then we have other settings to modify. So you can do the error message to say, please solve the CAPTCHA correctly. That's a totally fine error message. Then you could choose the CAPTCHA language. It will auto detect the language that's needed for the user via JavaScript. This is recommended. For the theme, because it's a dark theme website, I went ahead and I set it to dark mode. But because this staging site I have that was the older design for it that eventually morphed into it was light themed. I'm going to use the light theme for the size. Normal is typically what I just recommend. If you want to use compact, I'll show you what they look like here in a little bit. The failed login captcha is set to zero. And after basically what this means is if they fail to log in after X amount of times, it will show them the captcha. Setting it to zero to always show is recommended if you're using it for logins. Because I'm only using it for registration, this doesn't matter that much. 
I then made sure to hide the capture for logged in users because once they're logged into the site, they already bypass any means of verification that I need because they've managed to get through the registration process. And then you could choose to remove the plugin CSS from the login page, which is applied to the WP login page, which I recommend leaving this enabled if you are using it on your login page. And then for the Node.js captcha, you could choose to show the captcha if JavaScript is disabled. It's typically not recommended to do this. It can cause a bunch of wonky behavior if somebody has JavaScript disabled. However, typically if the browser has JavaScript disabled, this is a anti-pattern. Users don't typically go out of their way to disable JavaScript. So most of the time, if you're using Cloudflare or you have some kind of firewall on your server, it should detect those users already and try to filter them out. So now I'm just gonna quickly show you what this looks like. I'm gonna turn on the registration real quick and up for the staging site. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to take a look. So I'm gonna log out of the admin panel and then we're going to go to the, back to the register screen. And then as you can see, it's gone ahead and added the I am not a robot checkbox. If you check this, it will go ahead and give you the suggestion. I'm gonna go ahead and log back into the website and just sign in. So that way we can go ahead and look what show you what it looks like when it's in the compact mode. And then we come back to over here. I'm just gonna refresh this URL and then I'm gonna set it to compact and I'll show it down in dark mode too, just so that we can see. And we're going to go ahead and log back out. We don't need that here. Log out. Go to the register page. And as you can see, when it's in compact mode, it strips the logo and it shortens the box. I actually prefer it in the larger appearance because then it lets them get a little bit more detail of what it is. And it just looks more flush with the typical design of the account registration page. If you have any questions about this plugin, please feel free to ask in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.